Good morning, welcome to another reading vlog. It's Wednesday morning, we have got one more week of March, so this week's reading is going to be focused on finishing things off because, firstly, I've got to finish off my March TBR, which is quite a lot, and I also have quite a few digital things I need to finish as well, so let's start with the one that I've had around the longest, The Burning Stone. I started this sometime last year and then I had it on my February TBR, I didn't finish it. Now it's on my March TBR. I have, as of last night, 300 pages left to go. So if I just read 50 pages a day, I can easily finish this by the end of the month. And like last night they were doing this thing where they were going through these stones and it was all magical. And I really do like the story, it's all like an epic fantasy, everyone's fighting over the throne. But there's all this dark magic going on as well and a bunch of mysteries. Also these dragon people, they're not really dragons, but these monster type people. At the moment they're not really in the story, but like you know they're going to come back at some point probably and try and attack the kingdom. But there is connections between some of the characters, like mental connections actually. Anyway, 50 pages a day is my goal for that. As well, I need to read Pixel Juice. So this, I was going to count the number of stories I have left. This is a short story anthology. It's all like really weird science fiction-y, speculative type stories. I really liked the first half of the first part. I think there's four parts. Yeah, the first half of that first part, I loved it. The second half, oh, I didn't really like the stories at all. So that kind of put me off continuing, but I, I, mm, I'm hopeful that if I continue, it will get better. So how many stories do I have to go? Let's say there's 35. So that would mean if I read five stories every day for the next seven days, the next week, then I'd finish it by the end. I think short story anthologies, I need to spread them out because if I try and read too many short stories in a row, unless they're all really amazing, my brain starts just getting overwhelmed and then I want to give up. So let's try five stories a day from that. Um, then I also have these two Oh, these two books that I meant to start. This one is also short stories. Let's not worry about this one yet. This one, Ballad, I think that I could leave it till, oh, it's 400 pages. What I kind of want to do is try and read it from Sunday and read like 100 pages a day. It is like a YA romance fantasy so I think it'll be really quick to read. If I'm going to leave anything till the last minute, this should be it because I could blast through this if I had to. So I'm going to put this one aside for now and hopefully I'll be doing well enough that I can pick it up. This one, oh, what's my approach? I mean, it's kind of short stories too, but the first short story is like 100 pages. There are contents. Yes. Maybe for this one I try and read The Time Machine today and then the rest of the short stories I could read like one or two a day and get it finished. I guess that's my approach. So it's going to be like incremental progress on all of these over the next few days. Um, is that everything? No, it's not. Uh, digital stuff. Where's my phone? Oh, firstly, I'm listening to the audiobook of Sons of Destiny, which is the final book in the Cirque du Freak series. So I finished listening to that, I'll have finished that series off. So this is a series where we're following this boy named Darren Shan who got all involved in vampires and this war with the Vampanese. In the final book everything's kind of come back to his hometown and a lot of the people he knew as a teenager. When he first got involved with vampires and went off to join the Cirque du Freak, a lot of those characters have all come back. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it because it's all very revenge based and our main character is kind of becoming almost evil or I feel like that's the trajectory that we're heading in um which I'm not sure about but it's only five hours so should be super quick to listen to. What else do I have? Oh I also have three more volumes of The Girl from the Other Side by Nagabe. So this one, I read volume three last night and it was heartbreaking. It's all about this little girl who's being raised by this demon type creature and it seems like the people on the outside are cursed to be like this demon creature and then there's these guards in this guarded city on the inside and this young girl got left behind outside when everyone kind of hid away inside from this curse. It's kind of like something you get infected by. So this this demon type guy that's looking after this girl is infected. But it's so hard to talk about without spoilers but they got separated in volume three and oh, 
it was very upsetting and I was so excited to be reading this again so I'm excited to have the next three volumes of that. I also have two more volumes that I could read of the Wicked and the Divine graphic novel series. I think the next one the library has a whole queue on but I could read the next two and that would be catching up on series and graphic novels are quick to read right so all of these should be quick to get through. Um, the Wicked and the Divine series I'll talk more about these when I get to them but it's about these teenagers that become gods but once you become a god you know you're only going to really survive for a couple more years so they're they're worshipped but also a bit depressed about the fact that they're going to die. Hmm. And I think that's all that I'm trying to finish this week so is it achievable? I don't really know but I'm gonna try. Okay this lighting is not the best but let me update you on what's happening with my reading. It is Thursday night. Oh crap I need to put my rubbish out. But anyway it's Thursday evening yesterday. The reading that I did is I did read five stories of this and there were at least some that I liked. There were two that were kind of connected together. I didn't really like those ones though but there was that connection. And then there were a couple of others that were connected and those ones I liked. They're kind of about these com cops but they're like communication cops and advertisements have become so good that they can make you do things and then there are certain illegal advertisements being broadcast that make people get frozen or like do bad things to people and there's this staircase ad that's kind of making people want to kill themselves. And there are a couple of stories set in that world and I found that really interesting and I would like more stories around that concept but I don't know if we'll get them. And then as well this morning I finished listening to Sons of Destiny, the last book in the Darren Shan Cirque de Freak series and I'm very glad to have finished that. To be honest about halfway through I felt like it could have ended and I was like that would have been a cool ending like kind of open-ended but cool um, and then it continued and at first I was like do I want it to continue but it did some cool kind of time travel-y stuff and I do always like twisty time travel-y stuff and like playing with prophecies and destiny and I was thinking about how a lot of those like popular nostalgic series from people's childhood have these prophecies in them so Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, Cirque de Freak. There must be other ones. Always love a good prophecy especially when it's turned on its head. So feeling very happy with myself for having finished that. I do think I like the start of the series better but only because there was so much action and battling later on and I liked the bits which were more plot. Um, I think the last one had a bit more plot in it though so that was good. Is that all I've read? Oh actually also this morning I started uh, listening to the audiobook of The Three Body Problem but I also had a like a meeting this morning which I had to talk at and I was kind of stressing about it so I couldn't really focus. So I knew I wasn't listening to it properly and I couldn't really follow it very well so I decided on my drive home that I would start it again and still <laughs> I'm not sure I'm 100% following it. Like it's interesting it's something about this like anti-capitalist movement there's a concept of the mainstream revolutionary but I also feel like I'm missing out on some historical context to really understand it because it's kind of like in Japan I think in the 60s so I don't know is this kind of a, a communism thing that actually happened but not exactly because some of it is definitely bizarre so if that really happened no I don't I don't think that really happened did it really happen anyway I mean humanity's history is crazy but anyway I'm not sure if I want to continue it in audiobook. I think I could probably follow it better in physical book. I mainly wanted to read it because it's a science fiction novel that a lot of people speak highly of and a couple of my workmates said that they read it and it totally changed the way that they think about the world and just life in general so that made me intrigued but I'm a little bit concerned that I'm not smart enough for it. I think I'm going to need to pick up the physical book. Anyway I have plenty of other things to read. So tonight I'm supposed to be editing my Bookopoly vlog which I've just realized I've never even filmed an outro for. Uh, as well I need to read five stories from this. I didn't read any of this last night and I should have read 50 pages but I ran out of time and energy so I should do that tonight as well. However I also need to tidy my house because it's a mess. But tomorrow I'm working from home so I might be able to fit some house tidying in instead of my commute time. What I really do need to read tonight though I think is The Girl From The Other Side volumes 4, 5 and 6 because pretty sure they're gonna return themselves tomorrow. Well tomorrow night so I've got some time but still I should just read these and then that's done. 
So it's already eight o'clock. I think tonight I have to read the girl from the other side and then I guess I'll catch up on all this other stuff later. It's Friday tomorrow already. What? Hello, so it is my lunch break. I was gonna go and read outside, but it looks like it's gonna rain. So that's not really very helpful for that. Last night though, I did read volume four of The Girl From The Other Side and I still need to read five and six before tonight. So I think I'm gonna read them now. Maybe, maybe I'll set myself up somewhere else. I really wish it was a sunnier day. It's been sunny the rest of the week when I didn't have time to read during lunchtime. Anyway, volume four was absolutely beautiful. We have like these dark, kind of like demony creatures, but they're these cursed people. And there's now a couple of them trying to look after this young girl. But these cursed people are kind of having problems and there's also these other dark creatures. I just realized there's lawn mowing going on so I hope you can't hear that. You probably can. Anyway, these dark creatures that are maybe trying to do not so nice things to this girl. There's also some suspicions about is something special about this girl. There's just some heartbreaking moments. It's so beautiful but also so dark. I just really love it and I, I want to read those two more volumes now hopefully and i haven't read anything else if you set yourself on fire i never let you burn i would smoke you till my lungs hurt and love you till i'm So somehow it's Sunday night and I don't think I've read anything since I last talked to you. No, that's not true. I did start listening to, what is it? What is it even called? When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. So this is a thriller and all I know about it so far, I've read like the first couple of chapters and we have this one black woman who has been really struggling with her life and because of that she's moved back into the neighborhood that she grew up in, which historically has been a black neighborhood but now it's kind of being gentrified and a lot of white people are moving in wanting to do it up and kind of pushing the black community out and um, we're also following this guy who has just broken up a relationship with this woman who seems very racist and is kind of butting heads with the other woman in this neighborhood she's trying to do things up and make things nicer but some of the things she says not the best and uh, this guy's kind of broken up with her but they're still living together I assume he's going to be some kind of love interest for the other woman. I'm not sure yet where the thriller element's coming into things. So I guess we'll see where we get to with that. I was going to say I should easily finish that by the end of the month. But actually, not sure how much I'm commuting before the end of the month. But I do need to go for some walks. So maybe I'll still get through it. It's not very long. Like eight, nine hours? Anyway, now we only have three more days left in March. And have I read any of the books off my TBR cart that I put on my TBR? No, I haven't. So I'm doing super great. Somehow I've read like 20 something books this month and not the ones that I was most meaning to read. So I'm going to try and finish this off tonight and then I've still got three more days and I'm pretty sure the next two days hopefully I'll be working from home so that means I can use that commuting time. Instead I can use it for reading. So even though it kind of seems impossible I'm going to still try and finish everything and this is next. I Maybe I did read a few stories since I last talked to you. Um, the last few have been more technology focused and I think much more science fiction based. Uh, and I do like the stories that are like that a lot better. Although I think the thing I don't like about this, like when I was just reading 
Oh, I'm halfway through one. And uh, it's like this kid becoming a criminal and learning to steal things. And I think there's just a few stories in this book where there's these kids becoming criminals. And it never really addresses the fact that becoming a criminal is not a good career path. Like, it's a bad thing to do. And it, maybe it's just assuming that you know that. But it kind of almost makes it seem like being a criminal is really cool and edgy. And because this book kind of seems like it's targeted at a younger market. I'm like, would you not make it clear that being a criminal is not cool? Or does the author think that being a criminal is cool? I don't know. I just wish the stories would go back to the really cool ones right at the beginning. Anyway, going to try really hard to finish this tonight. But I also am going to try really hard to go to bed on time because I know that getting more sleep will help a lot with getting more reading done tomorrow so we gotta balance things out. Anyway I'll see you tomorrow probably. Hello so it's now Monday night. Last night I got to the end of part three of this and I told myself it's fine you're working from home tomorrow. You can get up early in the morning and you can finish off part four. But did I do that? No <laughs> I didn't. But I finished it off tonight. So I have finally finished the first book off my physical TBR for this month. And there's only two more days to go. And I've got three more books to read, I think. I'm giving up on The Burning Stone. Again, it'll just stretch out for another month. What am I doing? I don't know. Let me tell you about what I thought about this, though. So there were a couple of stories at the end of part four that I thought were very reminiscent of Edgar Allan Poe. who are kind of these scientists telling these stories that were very implausible and almost paranormal. And I really liked those stories. But then there were ones in part four again where it wasn't so great. There were definitely a lot of connections between the stories and I liked that. I just wish it could have been more consistent. There were stories I loved and stories I really hated. And that's the problem with short story anthologies like this. Like, what do I even rate this? I love some of these. I hated some of these. Most of them are probably in the middle. I mean, I guess at least I've read it. Um, I don't know if I'd read another short story anthology by Jeff Noon. I know there are more out there, but I just feel like I struggled to get through this. Because every time you get to one of those stories you don't like, you kind of get stuck. And then you like breeze through all the ones you love. Anyway, I don't know about that. Um, I am going to start this now. But it's bedtime and I don't want to stay up too late. So I'll probably just read like a chapter or something. So the first half, I think, is The Time Machine. And that has chapters. And then the rest is other short stories. But this is the shortest book on my TBR. So I should be able to finish this in two days. I've got a lot of other stuff I need to do. But still, I should be able to do it. Hello. So, it is Tuesday night. I've only got one more day to read everything in my TBR. And I don't think I'm going to make it. Uh, but today, I had to commute to the office. It was horrible and raining. So, the traffic was extra bad. And that meant I got more time to listen to my audiobook. So, we'll take that as a win, even though it was kind of shit. So, I'm listening to... What did I say it was called? When No One Was Watching... And I, I made it up to like past halfway and still I don't feel like it feels very thrillery. Like there's a few little events thrown in and like a few clues to kind of a mystery but there's not much of a mystery. So I feel like it's kind of letting me down in terms of it being a thriller. But like as a contemporary romance I guess it's kind of okay. It's not too heavy on the romance which I prefer but there is one. Uh, and it's just all about this gentrification and learning the history of this neighborhood while also dealing with everything that's happening. So I'm not minding it. It's not terrible but I keep waiting for it to turn into a thriller. Hopefully I can find some time to listen to it tomorrow even though I'm not commuting tomorrow. But since I'm not commuting tomorrow maybe I can try again to read something in the morning. Will it work out? I don't know. But I did also manage to read one chapter of this last night and I have to say like the scientific explanation of the time travel is kind of genius. I really loved it. I finished reading it and I just really felt like time travel. What is that going over me? Can you even hear that? Anyway, I really feel like time travel could be a real thing based on this explanation. I mean, I kind of always believe in time travel, but like probably in a more fantastical way. This made it concrete, which I was really impressed with. It's a really good solid foundation to time travel. Um, I'd also say like I know I compared some of the stories in Pixel Juice to Edgar Allan Poe and this is similar 
when, when were these authors writing? Similar times? Completely different times. Basically, H.G. Wells came after Edgar Allan Poe, but uh, I feel like the styles are kind of similar. It's this implausible science being explained in a way that seems very logical, even though you kind of know that it doesn't make sense. And it's told in the same way, like somebody's telling a story kind of about someone else's story. Edgar Allan Poe does that quite a lot, where he's telling us the character telling the story is telling a story about somebody else telling them a story it's kind of weird um i don't know if i've read anything else particularly like that maybe anyway i'm gonna go and try and read some more of this maybe have a bath it's nearly bedtime and i really do need to get enough sleep <laughs> Okay, so let us attempt to finish this vlog off from a somewhat horizontal position. So it's been about a week since I last updated this vlog. Uh, Easter weekend started out really nice. We didn't go away because we didn't want to deal with Easter traffic, but we went exploring the local neighborhood and it was really lovely. And then... <laughs> I got shingles. So if you don't know, shingles is basically the chickenpox virus reactivating. That gives you a rash. Made me very tired. Um, it's still kind of healing. It's not that fun. And I pretty much haven't done much of anything since then. I had great plans for the end of Easter to be all about being productive and catching up on everything. And now I'm even further behind than I was. But never mind. My body obviously needed to rest. So resting is what I have been doing. Um, to update you on my reading, since I last talked to you, I did finish off When No One Was Watching by Alyssa Cole. That book, I really don't know how I feel about it. I feel like the whole time I was complaining about it not feeling like a thriller, but actually that part of the story I liked a lot more. And there were some scary things that were happening, uh, but the mystery wasn't really that mysterious because it was more just like shit that happens all the time because people are shit, uh, especially white people are shit. So it's really just this gentrification thing. Then the end of that, I felt like it went quite extreme and it was very thrillery, but it was also a bit too much action for me and maybe a little bit losing connection with reality or more that like even though the main character's reaction was justified I still couldn't really get on board with it and I just feel like the the bad guys didn't really get what they deserved. I felt kind of dissatisfied with the ending because I don't feel like it really stopped things. Anyway I will admit that it has been a while since I read that now, uh, but I did, I did enjoy it. I would recommend it, but it, mm, I didn't really like the ending. And I think it's better maybe if you don't go into it expecting a really thrillery thriller. Anyway, as well, I was reading this, so I read The Time Machine, and after really loving the first chapter, the rest was kind of a struggle to get through. Basically, this guy has gone far into the future, and he's running into the future of humanity, and I did find some of like his guesses about why humanity had become what they had become. I thought some of the, like, the thinking around that was quite interesting like there was a paragraph around the gender binary being less important as family becomes less important because 
humans don't need to reproduce to survive anymore. Uh, and I thought that was an interesting thing to talk about back when this was written. Especially, but just the rest of the stuff with mucking around with this futuristic human group just uh, it was so boring I didn't care about any of it and it just seemed to like drag on and on for no reason I wanted more twisty time stuff than we really got in this so that was disappointing and then I started trying to read the rest of the short stories in this and I just I couldn't do it um I don't know maybe I was already getting shingles but I just decided nope not gonna bother so I didn't um so I'm still counting this as read because I've read the bit that I wanted to read um but in the end I'd probably only say I really recommend the first chapter not necessarily the rest of the story it was probably good as a foundational book in the world of time travel which is something I'm very interested in anyway I read that what else the only other thing I'd probably talk about is I did also read Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb so that's the first book in the Rain World Chronicles and I really wish I had vlogged that while taking you along with my experience um the first half was kind of just set up and getting to know the characters but the characters are so realistic and the world is so interesting that it, it's almost okay that not much is really happening and then partway through like halfway through we ran into some characters from the live ship traders and just straight away I felt so emotional and I was so excited to run into them again and see what had happened to them since those books <sighs> just made me feel so good and then after that we've basically got these characters who are taking these dragons on a trip up the river and it's only kind of near the end that that actually starts happening so at the very beginning some dragons were born but these dragons are a little bit uh defective there's some problems with them um and so that's kind of caused a bunch of other problems um we're following one woman who thinks of herself as an old maid at 21 and then takes on a marriage of convenience but it turns out to be not very convenient and we're also following this girl who is from the rain wilds but she's uh children born in the rain wilds are sometimes a little bit deformed as well and she was born with claws and children with claws are supposed to be just kind of left in the forest to die however her father kept her alive but a lot of people don't think that he should have done that so she's been kind of you know growing up in that situation and now a bunch of people who are similar to her have been assigned this job of dragon keepers and they're taking the dragons up the river we're also following the perspective of one of the dragons which i quite like as well now the other characters yes there is another guy who found some wizard wood and you're not supposed to use wizard wood really anymore after the events of the live ship traders but he decides to use it anyway um still not sure how I feel about him also there was one character through the whole book where I was trying to decide whether I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and I was like mm, you know he's kind of doing some dick things but maybe he's a good person really uh and then what happened right at the end I was like nope nope no benefit of the doubt for you and the ending made me so desperate to go and read the sequel but I'm so frustrated because I've been listening to these books on audiobook and I love the narration even though there's different narrators for each uh series I've loved the narration of each one I think actually the narrator for Dragon Keeper was the same one as the Inheritance short story anthology but anyway I started listening to the audiobook of Dragon Haven which is the second book in that series and it's a different narrator and it's the kind of narration style that I hate and so now I can't I can't listen to that I was really loving that series and I was so excited to read that book but I can't listen to that that'll just make me end up disliking a book that I know I could love so I think I'm gonna have to read the physical version and what's annoying is I actually have the third and fourth books in that series but I don't have the second book I'm kind of hoping I can find it secondhand somewhere but also I want to read it now and I was trying to avoid secondhand shops because I've been trying to get my TBR down to zero and like obviously if I buy more books that's not going to help with that. Ugh, so annoying. Anyway that is an update on my reading. I feel like I've been slowly uh, falling back into these pillows as I talk to you. I could easily fall asleep now. So I might go and do that <laughs> and hopefully at some point I will regain my energy and come back to being a human being again. Um, thank you for watching this vlog I hope it was interesting I honestly can hardly remember because I started it so long ago at this point 
Uh, but do let me know in the comments if you have read any of the books that I read in this video or if you're interested in reading any of them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.